He's got many good qualities, uh, and I think the ones that I look to are, um, and it's actually almost a family motto. We talk about passion, we talk about ambition, and we talk about humility. Uh, those are three core components, but for him personally, I think his faith is incredibly important to him. Uh, and uh, I do see him as, as being one of the most generous people that I've ever had the privilege of, of looking up to and learning from. Sector. What's made him successful? Frankly, he has had an incredible instinct and insight for our business. Uh, he is uh, incredibly passionate about what we do, and as you know, GEMS education has been driven by a very simple and singular purpose, and that's to try and put a quality education within the reach of every child, no matter where they are in the world. So he's incredibly passionate, and at the end of the day, he is representative of the ideals of our region. I mean, we've had the privilege and the pleasure of uh, seeing leadership that is ambitious, that is bold, and naturally he has taken a cue from that because this is where we've grown. So the, remember the adage, uh, impossible is nothing. Well, that's uh, his view of uh, what we're trying to achieve. I would argue that his influence has not just been within the country or across the region, but globally within the education sector more broadly. Um, he has this very famous saying, whatever the question, education is the answer. And to give you a sense of what that means, it is that for all the challenges that we see in the world, if we can address education and we can solve that challenge, then we can fundamentally improve the state of the world. When I think of our beginnings, the fact that he has effectively built something and something of substance and something that is truly impactful from nothing. Uh, I think that is something that I'm really proud of.